Hi everyone, welcome back to Sky Full of Stars, or Himei's Route, episode 11. So, Orhime and Akito are now being closer than ever, and in the last episode, Orhime wanted to make up for Valentine's Day, so on the actual day they were not a couple yet, and they kind of missed out on all the good things that couples do on Valentine's Day, so the chocolates. And Orhime gave Akito so much chocolate that I think Akito went home with some heartburn. And Orhime is sorry for it. But at least they got to be together for the whole day, including going to the planetarium and Akito being carried away with that show and being on the place where they usually do stargazing. And because this is the Mona version, it skipped over an H scene, so Akito didn't want to burden Orhime and her family and it turns out that they actually rented some place at a love hotel and that's where the age scene happened. So now that's all over, we're back at Miko Academy where they're welcoming Corona as the new student for this school. So Corona's like so I noticed that you two are acting differently. But it would have been great to see you two being close together, lovey-dovey. Kara looks honestly disappointed. So, you can go and see what they're like when it's not the Six Stars Club meeting. I want to see it. I want to hear it. Um, I think it's best if we're together just alone. Orhime is completely under Corona's little sister spell. Pretty much anything is okay if Corona is asking for it. But you know, mentioning this is kind of embarrassing. I know what you mean. She looks a little, or takes a little breath, deep breath. And suddenly she brought her face close to mine. Akito -kun. She whispers in a sweet voice. And it's quite a suggestive way of saying Akito-kun when she is supposed to be, or just say my name. Um, that's a little too much for me. Yeah, you were being really intimate with him. Well, I don't think they mean Orihime really does it in front of everyone. Well, she just wanted you to say it normally. Orihime dug her own grave with that mistake. So apparently, you didn't need to go that far now that you've done this. It's. well. Well, it's hard to explain, but it's just like, well, it's kind of embarrassing for me to do it. And if I didn't need to go this far, then I should not have. Well, come on. Don't make this. Okay, there. So, it's refreshing to see Orihime act like a little child. And I also tended to spoil Corona as well. 
Well, I want to be patted by Akini as well. I don't think it's the same feeling when Honoka does it. So, I'm the new president, so I should come for you as our new member. Well, I guess this is okay. And I guess she is so used to being spoiled that she could grade people on how much they pamper her. Oh yeah, that's right, Karuna. So is it okay, but once you get into Meiko, you'll have to call Honoka Kaicho. So you can't call her Hono Hono. But I'm not president anymore. So I'm not president anymore, so you can still call me Hime-chan. Um, so, okay, yeah, you can call her Hime-chan. And as usual, Honoka is quick to side with Orihime. She had probably gone along with Yoshiyoshi for so long because Orihime has liked it too. Or like um, Hono Hono. She needs permission to go in on the club trip next week. Karuna is a full-fledged member of the Six Stars Club, and it's agreed that we want everyone to go on the trip. Okay, so the mom is going to let Karuna go on this trip. It's like, well, you got to Mako, and... So after you finish your schoolwork, so break is going to happen, and that's when you can go. So it seems like Karuna's mother is worried about Karuna going alone. She says Karuna can only go if her brother comes too. So, Takeichi. And it is for problems like this that I had come to the meeting. So it would be good to just show up just because my girlfriend is here. So, no for Takeichi. And we do know that Takeichi is not interested in, in astronomy. He's a basketball person. And it would be a bother for him to go and watch over his sister. He's like, well, I don't like it. The fact that I'm just going to accompany my sister per our parents' wishes. Well, I think I have a way to get him to join us. Really? So he might reconsider if Jino san goes with us. So that's Nare. And I wonder if it's making Honoka jealous. Like, so we know that Sarami Kun is with um, Orihime, and Takichi is going with Jino san or Nare. And I'm pretty sure that everybody except Orihime has noticed. But as far as Nare is concerned, she seems to have no interest in Takeichi. Or maybe that's why Orihime has not noticed. Well, will that... Will that still allow your parents to give you permission to... Go to this camp. Well, I'll keep a watch on him, so don't worry, Orihime. Takeichi would be Corona's guardian and the bag carrier. 
And I'm not sure if he's okay with being the bag carrier. And if that's what their parents want, I'm sure that they would pay for his expenses too. Okay. Honoka, the organizer of the trip, sights or sighs with relief. Okay, so it looks like everything is settled. She had a lot to do, like reserving the accommodation, getting transportation ready, and confirm who is going. And with that, the planning is going smoothly. So it's time for Corona to leave before it gets dark. So are you going to be okay? So do you want me to take you home? Um, it's okay. No, I think someone had better go with you. Or um, it'll be pitch black when you get home. If, so it got dark in an instant in winter. And it would be completely dark without within 30 minutes. So can you accompany her home? I'll do it, says Konaka. Konaka is already wearing her coat as she says this. So, wait, what's wrong? And I wonder if she's going to convince Kona's parents like, well, Kona can go whether or not Takeichi says yes. And I could give them some reassurance. So that's a great idea. Morihime is graduating soon, and Honoka didn't want to be seen as an unreliable president. Orihime has trained Honoka well. So, does that involve Honoka introducing or welcoming new Astronomy Club members with the tarot card ritual that Orihime made? Karuna leaves with a one last good farewell. And they both left the club room together, leaving just Orihime and me alone. Hmm. So Honoka's grown quite sophisticated. I can't think of her as the same age as me. Well, I can't imagine that she's the same girl who is freaking out when she was appointed to be the president of the Six Stars Club. So Orihime's graduation is just around the corner. She had worked hard up until now, doing everything she could to get Honoka ready. She's fine. She had done everything that she wanted to. And that's when she's trying to tell me, but her face is full of sadness. So, Orihime? I held her as I said her name. So it's okay to admit that you're sad. So I am kind of sad. And it's a whisper or whimper that she would not show anyone else. Maybe to Honoka once upon a time. But she could not show weakness anymore now. Well, Honoka didn't do anything wrong. Well, I hope she's nicer to me. Orihime had always been the one being nice to Honoka. Or at least, is how Orihime saw it. But I could see the truth. Honoka is now being 
nice to Orihime. So she has been a cute junior member to you, though. Well, I wonder what it was before Corona showed up. It's like, well, I don't really like how Hanukkah is sometimes too strict. She starts to lean more weight on me, and I had my arms around her shoulder as I supported her weight. Or he was trying to deny her feelings, but she couldn't hold them back. The pain of leaving her club members behind is burning in her like a fire. So Hanukkah has been working hard so that you would not worry. I know that. So the more she thought about it, the harder it gets. Or he may starts crying silently. I know she's trying to hide her crying from me, but I just wiped the tears from the corner of her eyes. Well, I don't see a thing. I just stood there with Orihime as she cried. And it's the only thing a boyfriend could do. Okay, so back in his school, I kept looking at my phone to check. So Orihime and Honoka are coming to my club room today, and it should be time for them to arrive. So I got a message that they're on the bus, and I timed it so that I will be here when the bus arrives exactly. So right on time. So I finally got the arrival message from Orihime. Hmm. So Sai is with them. It had been a while since I've seen her. The chance of meeting her has dramatically dropped ever since I started dating Orihime. Okay, sorry about that. So, let me help you. So, what's going on in Akio's club room? So, I'll be going on the trip too, and I want to help out wherever I can. So people who come today are Orihime, Honoka, and Saya. Okay, so let's make sure we have everything that we need. Okay, thank you. Honoka is looking over the list and checking off things as she confirmed we actually had them. So for items that none of us, so none of the clubs have, we will have to rent it or even buy it. If the price is reasonable. So tents. Well, it's true that Saison girls didn't need anything. So the so-called Saison Astronomy Club is really. More of a comic or manga club, so they didn't need any equipment related to astronomy. Well, you can set or ask the hiking or rock climbing clubs to borrow theirs. I don't think we have those in other clubs either. Seisa is known as an old-fashioned school, so the students are expected to participate in more traditional activities. And Meiko is known as the Escalator School, so they have top-notch education, but it lacked in history and tradition when compared to Seisa.、Mm. So it's amazing that they deny a comic club nowadays. But I'm sure too the staff is like, well, a comic club is 
unproductive, you're doing something that's not going to be worth in the future, it's not or has no educational value, you're not really using your minds when you're making, doing art. Well, maybe Sai knows about it more, but I just got the feeling that they're involved in the kind of manga that most people don't read. So they might be writing some title that's unpopular and doesn't sell very well. It probably isn't bad, but more like some kind of indie movement. So the room is now a mess because she had been pulling things apart. But at least it had all been sorted now, so all I had to do was tidy up. And I'm sure for Akito's club room, or his astronomy club, there is a lot of equipment that they could bring to them to the camp. Okay. So tents, sleeping bags, and portable stoves. These are so there's solid fuel, insulation sheets, and even bat blankets. And these are all items that I had used when I used to live here. Okay. Hmm. So back to the old days when Akito decided to sleep in this club room. Totally. And it had only been two months, but it felt like forever. And some canned food. Um, wait, there's still some left over. I thought Take took all those. And there's some cans of lightly grilled fish. It had been dangerous to use the portable stove to heat food up while inside. So I had been pretty lucky to have gotten away with it for so long. Well, we'll check the expiration dates and bring everything that is not expired. She looks down at the cup of ramen in her hand with disappointment. Well, it's curry flavored and there's even a cheese flavor. I'm surprised that there is any of those left. And I don't think that Takeichi would leave these behind any of his favorite curry flavor noodles. Um, probably. But it might be expired. Well, I'll still eat it. Hmm, that sounds familiar. So I'll still have five months to go. So it's not expired yet. Okay, you can eat it, eat it if you want. Of course. So Saya knew this place well and turned on the electric kettle. And perhaps time heals all wounds, I could not feel any awkwardness from Saya. She is your usual airy self working hard. And there isn't enough water, so she went to fill up the kettle. Okay, so I'll go with you, says Honoka. So both Honoka and Saya leave the room. Well, if Moji tea is okay, there are some tea bags of those here. Cups? We don't have any for the guests, so we use paper cups. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. So it's a bit basic, I know, compared to your school. There you go. So compared to Miko Academy, it's like night and day. And there would be mayhem if the Six Stars Club met at Oshitaichi instead of Mako. But you know, I find this place special too. It 
if she is having this much fun doing the preparation, she is going to have a blast during the trip. So what else? Or he may draw us closer. But wait, we can't. So this, the others will, will be back soon. So what does Orihime want? Oh, I see. She seems mad at my misunderstanding. Well, I'm sorry. So if you don't want to kiss, then what? So, any new updates about the secret that they're working on? Oh, about that. Well, I had heard a few things about the trip, but nothing really useful that I could leak back to Orihime. So, nothing special, nothing new, nothing noteworthy. And they're back. And the timing is impeccable, or in a certain way, they came back at the wrong time. So it appears as if Orihime and Akito are about to kiss. So FYI, we're on school grounds. Uh, no, um, it wasn't anything like that. Well, we aren't kissing. I'm being serious. Well, I'm sorry that your mood got ruined. And you're trying to, like, show off. And it is quite... Or it hurts Saya pretty much. So please trust me. Saya looks on the verge of crying, but it's just fake tears. She's probably just teasing Orihime. Well, most of the time Saya is very serious, but there's also a more playful side of that Hikari and I had come to know. So I pour the hot water into the tea and the cup noodles. So... Well, that's all we have. So, he did move out and there isn't really much left. Or he may hadn't let her eyes off of the cup noodles since I pulled the water in. So if you like hard noodles, then that should be long enough. But if you want it to be right, you have to wait. So, three minutes. And that's too much for Orihime. So she's pondering how she wanted her noodles. Don't worry, you'll have to figure out your preferences with some trial and error. So what's your preference? She puts the focus on me. Um, I like it both hard and soft, so no preference. But if you start acting or eating them hard, they'll soften over time. And to think that I would be, let's see, classed with such a great person over a cup of noodles. I could not tell if they are making fun of me or not. It looks like Orihime is actually praising me, but I'm not sh so sure about the other two. So let's dig in before the noodles get cold. And soggy. Okay, let's eat then. She pulls the lid off, and the smell of curry noodles fill the room. Uh, 
Okay, so a picture. And she's gonna share to everyone. Hmm, that's familiar. So the other time when Orhime accidentally stayed over at this club room, and Hikari was upset because why do you let her stay and not me? And it was because Hikari was trying to find the love letter. And Honoko was like, wait, um, Kaicho, what are you doing? Um, you're getting crazy. And then for Sai's like, hey, why am I, why am I not invited, Akito-kun? So okay, so they're talking about when we were p polishing Plays 1's primary mirror. There you go. And when Orihime stayed the night over and had in cup noodles. And it's not that long ago, but it sure did feel like it. <sighs> wow, so that's a really refined way to eat. Well, that's how a lady eats. What do you think? <laughs> hmm. So I gotta be more like her. Well, I think you're perfect, Saya. I think Orhim is just too overboard or too much. And I could not deny it. However, there is a part, or that, that's a part of Orhim's charm. She first put down her chopsticks and wipes her mouth. And cleaning herself up to a voice complaint is proof enough of her refined elegance. Mm-hmm. So Sai gets it. That's good. And Orhim is not happy with Honoka's comment. So, how's your cup needles? So, I like it hard. It's amazing that I could still see Orhime as classy even as she gave her critique of cup of needles. Orhime picks up her chopsticks and once again tastes the needles. Orhime's second round of cup noodles. And the last post had a lot of replies. Angry ones. So I wonder who replied first. Oh, Corona. So, Takeichi is the one that's upset. It's like, that's mine. And he told Corona to write the response. So, there hadn't been club leftovers, but in fact, Takeichi's own private stock. I'm sure Akito was the one who bought them, so it's kind of Akito's stock and... Well, just finish it. Even Corona wants you to... It's like, well, you already opened it, so... Just finish it, and... Well, I feel sorry for Takeichi. I would have to pay him back during the trip. And we finish arranging the equipment we want shopping. Oh, so after we finish arranging the equipment, we went shopping. We need items from the 100 yen shop. Well, that's not a good place to shop. Drugstore, home center, and outdoor shops. And Harbor Town is really convenient. And I hope it's not overpriced. I didn't think they would all be on one street. And I'm glad we are able to avoid running off over town. 
So they have everything here. And I thought they only have fancy shops. Even I thought so too. So Harbor Town has a lot of shops. And over half of them are women's fashion. But there are also general stores, electronic stores, and restaurants too. And compared to local stores, they set their prices aggressively, and business seems to be good. And I should have checked this place out seriously. I muttered to myself as I look at the same or the area map. Well then, so let's, let's take a quick look. I'm interested in it as well. Yep. Hoka didn't look too pleased when or that we are postponing the shopping, but we all went together. Okay, so how much did they buy at the end? Honoka finally looks relaxed after all the shopping is finished. So was it really okay to have it all shipped to Meiko Academy? That makes sense. So should I ship the items from my school to your school then? So most of the stuff can probably be moved with basic manpower though. And this way the only physical prowess came into play with astronomy. We had given up on place one but pretty much everything else could be carried. Well, I'll bring over our tents and telescopes a little at a time. So on the actual day, I would only want to bring a change of clothes, something to ward off the cold and any necessities for the trip. And it would be best to bring all the astronomical equipment beforehand. That makes sense. So I wonder how big the bus is and how much they can carry in terms of cargo. So tents, telescopes, some equipment, some food, some warm clothes and blankets and... Because I don't think the bus is really big to put all those plus the Six Stars Club members. And I have a feeling that it might be... Well, you'll probably need something like a motor coach, a full-size one that's 40 feet long to carry all those. But anyways... She should have been tired, but her eyes are shimmering with excitement. So what else? Um, so the planetarium. It's like, well, we can't leave Harbor Town without having a visit to the planetarium, at least once. And I think it's a first time for Saya. Well, at least twice a week. So sometimes it feels like all my money disappears or spent here. The four of us sat in our seats as we talked. 
The seats are comfortable beyond comparison. She already looks pretty sleepy as she says this. And we are physically active all day today as Saya seems pretty tired. Don't worry, so we'll wake you up if you snore loud. Well, that's embarrassing to mention. Well, I don't snore, says Saya. And I've been a while since I could feel or tease Saya like this. I feel nostalgic as I spread out a blanket. So this should be a new program because it's a new month. Or him is already searching for more enjoyment. And seeing her excited in the corner of my eye, she is so beautiful that I almost fell in love again. So what's wrong? Uh, nothing. I couldn't really tell I loved her right now. So I softly held her hands in the dark so no one would notice. Well, and she gave me a troubled look or he may gripped my hand back. And not long after, the voice of the narrator sounded through the auditorium. So I wonder if they have already seen this, because this sounds like a repeat or a rerun. Oh, wait, this is the, um... Wait, so it's the same program from January. Okay, so Akito has seen this program before. And it couldn't be easy to make a new program every month. So I guess it's to be expected that they would reuse the same program again. So it's strange to see Honoka shake up. Or Hime is coldly waving her off. And something is going on. I don't have time to ask her before the narration starts. I immediately recognize the voice of the former actress Mikoto Tsukira. So it's dark when we left the planetarium. The dim lights of Harbor Town, model after old gas lights, help set the mood. Sai is quite satisfied, it seems. And I wonder who she held hands with. So I remember that the show involved holding hands. Even after leaving the dome, the warm, fuzzy feeling still lingered. And the narrate. So the narration is really good too, don't you think? And even Sai knows about this voice actress, so she retired early. Sai knew of her apparently. She's from before our time, but she's quite famous. Honoka and Orihime are talking in whispers. Oh, so what's up? So what are you talking about? Okay, so the big revelation. So, well, that voice actress Mikoto Tsukiura is my mother. 
Huh? Wait, so how that was an unexpected revelation. And my voice sounded like a deflating balloon. Well, I knew it was going to come out like this. And to my surprise, Sai is very excited at the news. So, my mother's a huge fan of this. It seems like she's about to ask for an autograph or something. Okay, I'll have her come out one day and give you and your mother an autograph. Saya isn't a fan herself, but she seems very excited. And even so, she's an actress from quite a long time ago, isn't she? And before Orihime had just played her down as a normal older woman. So using her phone, Saya found a picture of her online. And I think it looks like Orihime. So it's a small image, but you could tell that she is extremely beautiful. And she... So the resemblance is clear, vamped up, Orihime will probably become Mikoto Tsukihira. Hmm, so was she also a pop idol? I turned to Orihime for confirmation. So she might have, but it's like, well, she's just an actress. Because it's not just songs, pop idols get forced to do a whole lot of other stuff too, right? So they had to do pinups, variety shows, TV dramas, and so on, or else they would not get work. And everyone has strengths and weaknesses, of course, but Orihime's mother seems to have handled her career well. So it's true that she was a pop idol. And that's how she met my father. So he had pursued Mikoto Tsukihira, who was still an idol at the time, and his persistence had been met with success. And I wonder how hard he had to work to win her. And I wonder what Orihime's father does. So despite the exaggeration, Orihime's mother to abandon her whole career, their love must have been really passionate. So if visitors know about that story, they'd be much more interested, surely. And if they didn't, it's a program for couples just perfect for a date. Wait, what do you mean she never mastered any one thing? Orhime didn't like hearing her mother praised, it seems. And as a child, she probably had to deal with some issues because 
of her mother's fame. So, do you not like your mother? Well, it's kind of embarrassing that I'm the daughter of someone famous. And she was my inspiration for the stars. Or he may has told me the same thing before. And that was the time when Orihime stayed in Akito's club room slash residence. And she became interested in the stars after hearing about constellations and myths and legends from her mother. So Orihime hadn't shown any signs of her distress, none at all. And it's Honoka who had voiced concern, in fact. She had been worried that the content overlapped with the January program. And it's none other than Orihime who had supported my idea. So you could have just said something. Well, it kind of feels bad that I get compared to the original. Or he may spoke from the heart. And it's not like she had a complex or something, but she also could not pretend it's an issue either. So, yeah. Well, if I know, I wouldn't make comparisons. It's like, well, if you knew about me being the daughter of Mikoto Tsukiyera, you're going to wonder, hmm, so how well does Orihime perform to her mother and who's better? Or is Orihime worthy of being the successor to Mikoto? And I could have told her that I was that wasn't the case, but I'd be lying. Well, this is what I can say now. So your Artemis is really great, Orihime, and it's as good as Mikoto Tsukiyura's in every single way. And I wonder if that's true or he's just trying to flatter Orihime. So the tension in Orihime's shoulders went away, and at the same time, she smiled softly. The presence of a rival spurs one to great heights. And Orihime probably suffered at times, but in the end, it definitely had a positive effect. So it did work out in the end. Hmm, so I think you'll be good at becoming the next idol. Sai gets. or Sai's gaze is completely serious, but her opinions are a little extreme. Wait, me? I think you are fit too, Saya-san. But then again, Saya's eyes might be a selling factor. Or it's going to make her special to the point where people will remember her if she does become an idol. There you go. 
Well, I know what you've been through because of those eyes, Saya. But I think they're beautiful, and we all do. And it makes Sai blush a little bit. And being treated like a princess is a bit much, I guess. And it must be these two who helped make the costume. And given how many times Orihime had met them, it's even more embarrassing. Well, I know you're embarrassed, but try to take it as a compliment. So did I. And I wonder if Sai is still jealous about this. Ha ha ha, well, I have no response to that. And if Orihime hasn't been there, I would never have worked that hard. And if someone had said that the, that was the power of love, I would not deny this. And for Orihime, well, I felt there is more to it. So Orihime, in the future, what kind of person do you want to be? Hmm. So what can she do? So I want to extend the Six Stars Club, so have it spread to other cities, other places. Well, if that's the case, this could be one of your options. So, what does the Abir Princess think about this? And I don't think Saya likes Akira calling her this. There you go. This belief is written all over her face, but then it disappears and she seems to be slowly taking in the possibility. And it wouldn't be like you if you not try at all. The war he made, I felt for would go straight for whatever she wanted to do. Is that right? No matter how impossible it seems, Orihime would make it come true. She had the power to make you want her to succeed. Well, I kind of do, and it's a compliment, of course. But it still sounds kind of bad. Well, just don't tell me we can't be together, okay? And the laugh burst forth from her. And then she lifts her face and looks straight at me. すべてはずかてに過ぎません。でも、いいきっかけだったのかもしれませんわね。月の女神アルテミス。手を伸ばしても届かない美しく孤高の月。だけど、月はみんなを優しく照らしてくれるわ。迷える旅人をいつも導い
Well, yes, you can. And if that's your wish, you definitely can. プラネタリウムイベントの時もプレアデス1号の時もいつもあなたは私の背中を押してくれたわね。私がみんなの導きの星になるのならあなたはきっと私だけの導きの星。And the way the moon shone gently on travelers. If the moon provided the traveler with light, then it is the North Star that gave direction. A singular light that always indicates north. And could I be the North Star for Orihime? Mm, well, it's not a question, so I will become the North Star. Okay, I'll show you the way. And that's why, um. So it's a warm day, one that felt like the end of winter. Okay, so this is a good place to stop for this episode. And it's quite surprising that Orihime is actually the daughter of the famous Mikoto Tsukiyura, the person who gives a very warm and soothing narration for one of the shows at the planetarium. And I wonder what Orihime's father's like. So, well, I'm not sure, but I wonder if he is like a big businessman, successful, like a CEO with lots of money, and that's why he's able to support the mother very well to the point where she no longer has to be a voice actress. And probably why she wanted to date and marry him. It's like, well, he has a lot of money and I no longer have to be a voice actress. And, but still, the mother and the father are interested in meeting Akito at some point. And it's just Akito that's holding back. It's like, well, I don't think this is going to work. Or I will visit them someday, but I'm not ready for this yet. And it kind of feels like Orihime is following the footsteps of her mother. So it's kind of close about how the father confessed to the mother in the planetarium. Because um, that was also the time when or many years later, when Orihime gave Akito the kiss that brought everything along. So anyways, there's still some stuff to do, so the observation camp, and they're making preparations, and it looks like it's about to be ready. And in the next episode, hopefully we find out how it's going, and whether or not the observation camp begins. So with that in mind, I'll see you in the next episode.